The influx of smuggled food products onto the Ghanaian market has been a challenge for stakeholders in the industry. Commodities like rice, wheat, soya bean meal are among the most common foods smuggled. The Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana say, per their investigations, they have noticed the influx of wheat flour from Cote d'Ivoire and Turkey on the Ghanaian market. According to them, these products have been sold to Ghanaians without the approval of the Food and Drugs Authority. We have influx of 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 of, of smuggle of, of smuggle wheat uh, flour in the market. That is giving them posing a threat to the manufacturers. The Ivorian government have given some tax exemption to the wheat importers. In their country, like Ghana, we have the, our millers who are also importing wheat, and they have to pay so much duties, taxes, and tariff to the state. Come and mill it. And don't have the market in the Ivory Coast. It's not like that. Ivory Coast realizes that the food prices, because of global issues that we are all battling with, have given tax exemption and have made it a point that they should produce it at a cheaper rate for their people than us now. And they've banned it. They said that production should stay within their country, but it found its way here. So if you haven't, if you import the wheat, they have no paid duty. They are produced at a very subsidized way. They are supposed to consumed by their nationals, because it's lower cost, it found its way to the Ghanaian market. And those are people, the, the wheat millers who bring in their wheat, pay the duty, go through this high tariff cost of doing business to produce it. They are now, the, their products are the market, and it, they have no market share. Our checks, most of this flour is entering into the country through the unapproved entry point with custom failing to exert the taxes, fees, levies, and charges on them. City News visited the Kaneshi market in Accra to verify this information. One of the brands of the wheat allegedly imported was found in a flour store, but the owner refused to speak on record. Other traders of the flour, who confirmed the presence of these smuggled wheat flour on the Ghanaian market, explained that, despite it being cheap, it's unable to compete with the locally manufactured ones. When they are they Obia wo di ope cosmos on beton o mu de wa ope ti se wa kasa sa ka che ni se fine 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 o ba kasa bre ti ade a o mu nim nu enu na yekwa akra koto eh we se e we di e o ba kasa sa i say it's fine 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 de be ma o long problem problem ti de wa onum tama anyway na yeto e me hubo market mu da ma ma to ma like canada only the Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana is therefore calling on the FDA and the custom officials to, as a matter of urgency, investigate the matter. You know that FDA, they've been doing very well, extremely well. They have a, they have a surveillance uh, department and we are employing, we are appealing to FDA. They are our friends, we are friends to them, uh, to send their surveillance into the market and crack the whip. And we are also ap appealing to the custom to also send their monitor team, uh, uh, team to the market to make sure that they get those who bring this this unapproved uh, smuggled goods into the market, um, to get them and assess them and see if, if possible, they probably have to place a ban. The Importers and Exporters Association of Ghana is cautioning Ghanaians to be on the lookout for these imported wheat flour which has been smuggled into the country. Reporting for City News, my name is Anshirley Zero.